Digital gender equality is an important issue in today's society. And conducting surveys can be an effective way to assess the current state of digital gender equality. Surveys can provide valuable insight into the attitudes and beliefs of the public and can be used to inform policy and decision making. Surveys can also provide an opportunity to identify areas where progress is being made, as well as areas where more work needs to be done. The first step in conducting surveys to assess the current state of digital gender equality is to identify the target population. This may include all genders, or it may be more specific and focus on women only. It is important to consider the population's demographics and cultural background, as this may influence the results. Once the target population is identified, the survey questions should be developed. The questions should be designed to gauge the respondents' attitudes and opinions on digital gender equality. The questions should be neutral and not leading in any way and should be designed so that the responses can be accurately measured and analyzed. Once the survey questions have been developed, the survey should be administered. Surveys can be administered in a variety of ways, including online, through the mail, or in person. The method of administration should be chosen based on the target population and the resources available. Once the survey has been administered, the responses should be analyzed and the results should be reported. The results should be reported in a way that is easy to understand and interpret. It is important to consider the implications of the results, such as any policy implications or changes that may need to be made. In summary, Conducting surveys to assess the current state of digital gender equality is an effective way to gain valuable insights into the attitudes and beliefs of the public. The survey should be developed in a way that is neutral and non-leading and should be administered to the target population in a way that is appropriate and accessible. Finally, The responses should be analyzed and reported in a way that is easy to understand and interpret. By following these steps, surveys can provide valuable information that can inform policy and decision making and help to identify areas where progress is being made and areas where more work needs to be done.